Dozens of people killed in northern Gaza Saturday after Israeli airstrikes targeting Hamas were launched across the region. One of the targets was a school being used as a shelter for displaced people. They couldn't find any shelter except this school, and tragically, they lost their lives here. The barrage came as Israel announced Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's home was targeted by a drone, though no one was hurt. This brief comment from the Prime Minister posted to social media shortly after. We're going to win this war. So will something deter you? No. The Israeli military says at least 55 projectiles were fired into northern Israel as well, killing one man and injuring four people. Iran's foreign minister condemning the killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar and emphasizing Iran is ready for any scenario. Experience has proven that the martyrdom of such great leaders causes no disruption in the legitimate struggle of the Palestinian people against tyranny and occupation. Rather, it gives it more motivation and speed. The casualties from Israel's assault on Hamas and Hezbollah are mounting, but the World Health Organization says Israel has blocked at least six medical NGOs from entering Gaza. Dr. Yasser Khan, a Canada-based ophthalmologist who's been involved in humanitarian aid for nearly two decades, fears the decision will make things much worse. In both my trips to Gaza, um, I've seen the most horrific things that I've actually ever seen. The amount of eyes that I took out in children, one or both eyes amputated basically, or what's called evisceration, was huge. The amounts of deaths that are going to occur will be even even worse than what it is now. So I'm, I'm really concerned. Meanwhile, Israel has yet to offer an explanation as to why the NGOs have been denied. Bianca Fashini, Global News, Washington.